Ciao Bellas and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're an OG. Either way, I am so glad you are here. I'm Sholanda and here on my channel, Truly Sholanda, girl, it's just a place for me to be true to me and for you to be true to you. So we talk about all the girly things that bring us joy. That could be hair care, skin care, fragrance, fashion, girl, and everything in between. So if that sounds like something that is your vibe, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. While you're down there, just hit the notification bell and that way you'll never miss a video. So today I wanted to bring you guys a few fragrances, three to be exact, that I'm trying out and they are all spring fragrances, perfect for it this time of year. I did another video, I don't know how many videos back, talking about the best way to start a fragrance collection and one of the things I mentioned was a subscription, like having a fragrance subscri subscription where you can get decants, good size decants, where you can play in fragrances, get to know them, live with them, and actually really see if you like them before committing to a full bottle. And in that video, I shared that the one that I'm subscribed to is Royalty Scents. This is not sponsored, although <laughs> Royalty Scents holla at me. Um, <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna be sharing the three fragrances that I've gotten over the last month or two that I've been playing with and just, you know, living with and seeing if I wanted to get a full bottle of. So if you want to see what those are, just keep watching. Okay, so the first fragrance up, I've actually gotten a small sample of this before. I think I ordered it from Lucky Scent or somewhere, like early on when I was first like starting to build, like really build my fragrance collection. But it was a little dabber and it was like, I don't know, one mil maybe. And it had like the little stick where you can kind of, I do not recommend. <laughs> Get something that you can spray, that you can actually experience the way that fragrance was meant to be experienced. I digress. That fragrance, um, when I tested in a little sample, I liked it, but this, this house is not, I mean, it's not super expensive, but it's also not super cheap. And who wants to waste money anyway, regardless of the cost, right? So I wanted to get a little bit bigger sample just so I could actually spray it and live with it and really make sure that I liked it. And the fragrance that I'm talking about is by BDK, a house that I have completely fallen in love. They got me just in a, in a whole chokehold, okay? <laughs> I have not tried a fragrance from this house that I haven't liked and that I have not wanted to get in my collection. Hence, I have three of them in my collection already. And spoiler alert, this one might end up being the fourth. <laughs> so this one is Creme de Cure, and it's the one with the super beautiful pineapple note. I'm gonna give you the notes. Up top, we have pineapple, grapefruit, mandarin orange, bergamot. In the mid, we have white suede, sandalwood, pink pepper, and pepper. And in the base, there's cashmere, vanilla, white musk, gray musk, and birch. You get a big blast of citrus in the opening, but in a good way, because I don't typically go for citrus type fragrances, but this one, the opening, I actually do enjoy. It's really pretty. Right after that big citrus opening, it is quickly followed by pineapple, suede, and sandalwood. It is beautiful. I love sandalwood. If you watched a few of my videos at this point, you would know that if it has sandalwood in it, I'm probably gonna like it. And this one is no exception. That sandalwood and that pineapple and that suede, it is just so, it plays so beautifully together. It almost, it almost smells like it has um, booze, like a boo, it has like a boozy feel to me. I don't, there's no, yeah, there's no boozy notes listed but it almost smells a little like an alcoholic drink, like a fruity pineapple alcoholic drink to me. And it is just so beautiful. The musky dry down, as I, I mentioned, it has white musk and gray musk. So two musk notes in there. And it is right, it's like towing the line of being too animalic without being too animalic, <laughs> okay? Because I don't like super animalic notes and fragrances it just mm -mm. um one that i tried that was like that for me was oud rosewood it was an immediate imme it smelled like a whole barnyard i can't do it mm -mm, not for me so this one i promise you don't be scared of the double musk notes in the base it doesn't push it too far it's like right there at the line where all right you go any further 
you're gonna have to go. It, it stays in a good spot where it's still smooth and it doesn't lean too far into that animalic zone where um, it's gonna feel, have you feeling like you're in somebody's barn. It is beautiful. It's actually my scent of the day today. And oh, the dry down is just so pretty. You know what, Th this gives me what I had hoped Hashibat was gonna give me. Hashibat is a beautiful fragrance. It is just too masculine for me. Hashibat, and they open up almost exactly the same. Like the top notes in this one are pineapple, grapefruit, mandarin, orange, and bergamot. And the uh, Hashibat opens up with uh, pineapple, grapefruit, and bergamot. With it. So the only thing it doesn't have is the mandarin orange. So they open up exactly the same. But with Hashiba, it just starts to go really masculine because it has the cedar, patchouli, um, oak moss, and just, no, there's no sweet notes in there at all. <laughs> like, it is straight up woodsy, oak moss, like just, very masculine to me. I, I I know there are some women who wear it and enjoy it, but I couldn't do it. I sprayed it on my hand to test it, and I'm telling you, it was just radiating off, and I was like, this smells like a man. <laughs> so I gave it to my husband, and that's for him. This, I feel like, is the female version of Hashibat. Like, if we wanted to, my husband and I wanted to go date night and have like a his and hers moment, this would be the hers. Hashibat would be the his. Okay, next up is a phrase. Oh, and if I didn't, I don't know if I mentioned or not, but the uh, creme de cure I got in this month's um, royalty scent subscription. So right now I'm feeling, filming this, it's the end of April, and I got it like maybe a couple weeks ago. It was like mid-April. So I usually get my orders in around the middle of the month. Um, and so I got that one this month. So I only had it a couple weeks, but already I can tell it's one that I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna need it. This next one up is one that I actually got in my last month's subscription in March. And I liked it on first spray, like on first spray, first sniff, I liked it. But I don't know what happened because I, I played with it and then I put it down. And then recently I picked it up again and I was like, what? oh, this is a love, like this is beautiful. Um, and the fragrance that I'm talking about is by Tiziana Terenzi and it's Draco. Now Draco opens up with bergamot, lemon, orange, and green notes. The mid notes are peach, magnolia, jasmine, cedar, and patchouli. The base notes are musk, pear, vanilla, tonka bean, and heliotrope. This fragrance opens up, it's bright and happy. Like, the, you definitely get, um, oh, I think I finished it. I did finish this one, um, but no worries, because a full bottle is on the way. So it opens up very bright, very happy. You definitely get the green nuances in there. And for me, those like citrus fruits in the beginning and that green um, nuance that it has, it, it calms down after the initial opening, but for me, it stays throughout and it stays in a way that's just, it feels like it's just there to kind of keep the fragrance uplifted and bright and happy. Not so much in a way of like, it's a like citrus fragrance, like that's all you get. It's kind of just still plays in the background and keeps the, keeps the fragrance uplifted. Now there is peach in the fragrance and if you look at reviews, that's typically what a lot of people speak of. But to me, the pear is the star. It's a sweet, juicy pear and it is just beautiful. It's another note that I feel like just keeps the, the fragrance bright and uplifted. Definitely a spring summer fragrance. Like I, I can see myself just wearing this out this spring and summer because it is so beautiful. It is so just happy. Like it's just a happy scent. And the dry down is beautiful. It's sweet with that signature Tiziana Terenzi musk. Like if you own any Tiziana Terenzi scents, if you've smelled any of them, you know that that house just has a signature musk that you either love it or you hate it. Like, <laughs> it's, no, it's really no in, in between with that one. I feel like it's pretty polarizing. I, I happen to love it. Like, I think it's beautiful. I think the way they do it is just divine. Like, it's smooth and just, 
beautiful. In all of the fragrances that I have smelled, I have enjoyed it. Um, this, the way the musk is in here kind of reminds me um, of Andromeda, which is another, it has a peach note in it as well. That one is beautiful too. Um, kind of debating if I want to add that one in my collection as well. Uh, because this one, like I said, has the peach, but I feel like the pear is the star. But oh, it is such a beautiful scent. If you have not gotten your nose on it, I'm telling you, give it a try, test it out. It's a good one for spring and summer. Okay, last but definitely not least, this baby right here was love at first sniff. This fragrance is so beautiful. I, as you can imagine, there's already a bottle on the way. It is so pretty. And this is another one that I got this month. And literally I got it, I smelled it, and I said I need it. Like I think I gave it one day of like a full wear just to make sure. But I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. She needs, she needs to be in my collection. And the fragrance that I'm talking about is by Nisha Nay, and it's 100 Silent Ways. So 100 Silent Ways opens up, oh my gosh, oh, it is so pretty, oh my gosh. Okay, notes. It opens up with tuberose, peach, and mandarin orange. The mid notes are gardenia, jasmine, and orris, and the base notes are vanilla, sandalwood, and vetiver. I would swear that there was musk in here as well, but there, there's none listed, although we know perfumers do not list all of their notes, so there very well could be in here, but it's not listed. But this is just, this is a beautiful scent. Now this is the peach for me. It's a beautiful white floral peachy scent with a slightly woody, slightly powdery background. It's like a sweet, juicy, fruity, floral, but hella grown. <laughs> like that's what I get from this. It is such a beautiful scent. It is sweet, so you have to like a sweet fragrance, but it's not too sweet. Like it's not like over the top. Like I said, it doesn't lean into the juvenile realm. It's sweet, it's fruity, it's floral, but it's grown. Like she, she's a, don't play with her. That, <laughs> don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. She's sweet and all of that, but don't get it twisted. This is a grown woman that's wearing this right here. The white florals in here are so smooth because if you're familiar with white florals at all, they can get sharp real quick. <laughs> like real quick, real easy. They can get sharp and offensive. The, not in here, like not in here. And you smell them. I smell the gardenia. I smell the jasmine. Like it is just, oh, I think I'm out of this one too. Sure am. <laughs> Look, oh, it's so pretty. The vanilla and the sandalwood in the base just help to kind of round it out smooth it out, give it some creaminess, which is what I think kind of helps it to not go into the super like juvenile realm of, you know, that a lot of fruity fragrances can tend to be in. This is done just so, so well. Like Nisha May, they don't miss. Like I've sampled a couple, I have one currently in my collection, another one on the way and i definitely want to get my nose on some more and it's a house that i want to continue to explore and add to my collection because they just do a really good job like this fragrance is so beautiful like i said it was a love at first sniff i i just yeah i don't know what to tell you other than try it out i would say i would venture to say that this is blind by safe. Like if I would have blind bought this and sprayed it when I got it, I would not be mad at all. Like I would have been ecstatic that I made a great blind buy pick. Um, I don't recommend blind buying. Like I said, try stuff out, um, get a subscription if you have to, so you can have a chance because this, these things are, are not cheap. You know, we don't wanna just be throwing money in the wind. However, if you are so inclined. <laughs> this is not one that I could see somebody disliking. All right, Bellas, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please do give me a big thumbs up and let me and YouTube know that you enjoyed my content so I can continue 
to push it out. And remember, whatever you do, do it in love. Stay true to you. I'm going to stay true to me. And I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.